Higuereta was born in Villahermosa, Tabasco, Mexico, the daughter of actress Martha Cervantes and therapist and artist José Luis Higuereta, and sister of actress Miriam Higuereta. She began acting on the stage at a very early age, along with dancing jazz, flamenco, tap and folklore. At 14, she moved to Mexico City from her native Tabasco to pursue an acting career. Her debut was in theater participating in various plays Little Women, Don Juan, among others, being an advanced student, she entered college several years early at the age of 15, studying communications at El Tecnológico de Monterrey. She would attend college in the mornings while going to acting school in the evenings while performing in theater on the weekends. A year later her mother and sister moved to Mexico City and attended acting school with her. She had her first TV debut as an anchor hostess in the Disney Channel's Zapping Zone, a two-hour live show of fun sketches and adventurous exploring. Soon after Martha had her own extreme sports segments in the show, she was only 16 when filmmaker Alfonso Cuarón came to Mexico City auditioning for Y2 Mama Tambien. Martha got the part of Cecilia Huerta, Gail Garcia's girlfriend in the film, but being underage and due to to the full-on nudity in the movie she was not able to do the role. Quaron encouraged her to keep pursuing her acting career and following his advice soon after she changed her major from communications to the performing arts. In 2002, Higuereta had her first leading role in the movie, Amar Te Duel, Love Hurts, directed by Fernando Serignana, in which she shares credits with Luis Fernando Peña and Alfonso Herrera. The movie quickly became a box office hit and launched Martha's career giving her the nickname, The Mexican Sweetheart. She received the Silver Goddess Award for her performance as female-led and the MTV Movies Favorite Actress Award. In 2003 she was offered the lead in a Mexican TV show, An Amorate, in TV Azteca. But Higuereta's passion was in making movies. Higuereta returned with the movie, Siete Dias, next to Jamie Camille, another box office hit. She worked with Carlos Carrera, El Crimen del Padre Amaro, in Sex, Love and Other Perversions, winning another Silver Goddess Award. And that same year she was nominated as Best Supporting Actress for the Mexican Academy Awards for her role in Fuera del Cielo. In 2007, she came with her latest production, Niñas Mal, directed by Fernando Serignana where she shared credits with Camila Sodi and Jimena Serignana. The movie produced by Columbia Pictures was a huge success in which Higuereta portrayed punk stubborn yet sweet Adela. Her unusual haircut and fashion statement quickly became a trend in Mexican teenagers. She booked her first American movie in 2007, Borderland, where she shared credits with Sean Austin and Beto Cuevas produced by Lionsgate. The movie was screening in the American film market when an agent approached her, he introduced Martha to Craig Shapiro, whom to this day represents Higuereta at ICM Partners. Shapiro convinced Martha to move to L.A. So in 2008 she moved to Hollywood to audition and study script writing, I'm not the type of actress who sits there to wait for the phone call, I love the creating process and I need to keep myself busy, so I studied script writing, first to know how to choose my projects but most importantly because writing had always been a big passion in my life. So when I'm not acting, for sure I'm writing a script. She booked her first TV show directed by Stephen Frears but the show was cancelled due to the writer's strike. In 2008, she worked in the film, Street Kings, as Keanu Reeves' love interest, Hugh Laurie, Chris Evans and Forrest Whitaker. The film was directed by David Ayer, she went back to her country with three finished scripts and at the age of 25 she wrote and produced her first independent film, Te Presento Alora. The movie was in the top 10 films in box office for 10 consecutive weeks. In 2010, she appeared in the prequel to the crime, action film, Smoke and Aces, as a deadly female assassin. In 2012, she shot, Hello Herman, with Norman Reedus as an American reporter. And in Lies in Plain Sight as the leading visually impaired woman trying to solve the murder of her sister, winning the Image Foundation Award for her performance. In 2014 she also wrote, produced and starred in, Cassese Quien Pueda, Marry Me If You Can, directed by Marco Polo Constanz and produced by Martha and Miri Higuereta and Alejandra Cardenas. The movie quickly became the second biggest box office record of its time. This caught the attention of the American studios. I wanted not only to be in movies, but to know the guts of the industry, so I went to find the investors, and was involved in every part of the creative process.
Making movies it's all a team effort, so if you surround yourself with the best people you learn from them and if you can also give an opportunity to those whom you believe in their talent, magical things can happen. Yes the seed of the idea it's the script but the trunk and the branches is combining everyone else's talents. She played Amparo in the mini-series, Carlos, directed by French awarded director Olivier Assayas with Edgar Ramirez playing Illich the terrorist. She worked in the Disney movie McFarland USA with director Nikki Caro starring Kevin Costner, Maria Bello and Chris Pratt's. Martha has successfully combined her acting, writing and producing careers. In 2016 she starred and produced No Manches Frida with Edward Allen and Mauricio Argeles. From Pat Nellian, Lion's Gate, Videocene and Constantine Films, No Manches Frida was another box office hit, where Higuereta plays shy yet passionate Miss Lucy who falls in love with a criminal Omar Caparo. Her and Caparo had wonderful chemistry and had been friends for a while, it was Martha who came to the studio pitching Caparo for the role. The low-budget film made $11.8 million in Mexico and $11.5 million in the U.S. Higuereta produced with Miguel Meyer, Jimena Rodriguez, Bernardo Rugama the box office success and Mexican adaptation of Three Idiots, a story about following your true passion. This subject has always interested Higuereta as she has toured around her country giving inspirational yet grounding talks to teenagers. Higuereta is filming Aidered Carbon, a hard-boiled cyberpunk science fiction novel by 